guys, here is how it happens. I literally just walked in the door uh, from work and I, you know, I felt like talking a little bit of boxing. So we're gonna talk about Canelo today, having a little dispute over the, over the finances with the zone, right? And I don't know, is the innocent guilty? Look, I haven't read the article. We're going to read it together. But let, let me give you guys a little bonus, okay? Roy Jones Jr., you know, said uh, he was on the, uh, what, is, what is that dude's name? Uh, Fat Joe or whatever on his podcast. Now, I watched the whole damn thing. It was like an hour. And there was like a little 10-second clip where he let, he let, he let some uh, info slip, right? He, he kind of said it, and he, he didn't mean to say it, but he said, my, my contract with uh, HBO, which I didn't know these guys still had a contract, will be up in December 2020. And he said he's probably going to go to a large platform like The Zone, Showtime, maybe ESPN, I don't know, wherever. It's got to be one of the three, the top three, the big dogs, and he will be commentating. Now, look, guys, I like that. Even old biased ass Jim Lampley, you know, the, <laughs> remember, he's all talking, what, my thing with Jim Lampley, guys, just my number one go-to complaint is the way he was with Andre Ward. He's, oh, Andre Ward, pound for pound. Oh, the pound for pound king, Andre. Did, did I, Max, hey, Max, did I mention he was pound for pound, the number one boxer on the, really, really? I mean, uh, what was it, uh, Abraham, Carl Frotch? I mean, probably his best win, Chad Dawson, meh. Rodriguez, meh. Paul Smith, I mean, Sullivan Barrera, you know, went 12 rounds with Alexander Brand. Look, guys, I remember this. And Kovalev, you know, beat him once and, uh, you know, got that weird TKO in the second one. Come on. How is Andre Ward, pound for pound, 32-0? and Okay, come on, guys. And, and and according to Jim Lampley, look, guys, I'm getting off. Here I go, getting off subject. You know, according to Jim Lampley, he is pound for pound number one. And then it was Gennady Golovkin was pound for pound. And then it was Canelo pound for pound. Then it was Mayweather pound for pound. Then it was Loma pound for pound. Like whoever they're promoting is pound. Whoever is the establishment boxer is their pound for pound. So, but you know, you know, someone said in the, in my comments here that. Uh, <laughs> There's Roy. The Jim Lampley brings a you know a certain uh, a certain feel to a fight. You know, it's just that icon, you know, kind of like Madden. You know, uh, you know when, when you talk about football or whatever, he brings like I don't know, just a certain era atmosphere. What is the word I'm looking for? Just a feel to the fight that I like. You know, if you can tune out what he's actually saying. But anyway, guys, let's move on. By by the way, Nassim, R.I.P. Nassim, that's a, a tragedy, very tragic. So now, shout out to you, Michael. Um, Canelo Alvarez and the Zone are in dispute regarding his purse, right? I mean, oh God, here we go. This better look, guys. I, I haven't read this yet, but I'm just going to say he better not be whining about money. There's a four hundred million dollars he's making already and plans to fight September 12th, God, I can't talk today, may be scrapped unless an agreement is reached soon. Canelo's lawyer, uh uh-oh, Canelo done lawyered up. (laughs) He lawyered up. Told ESPN, the zone are reportedly asking Canelo to to take a big discount on his regular purse for his next fight, which is preventing the bout from being a fight. Well, what is his next fight? You know, now we're hearing, uh, who was it, uh, Willie Monroe Jr., right? I mean, let's see, what is it, is it going to be Col- Canelo Kovalev 2? Like, who is his next opponent? It, it needs to be Charlo. Just like uh, B-Hop said, Bernard Hopkins, he said, if Canelo truly wants to be great, he needs to face like a Charlo, you know, somebody like that. We Look, we don't want another Kovalev, right? We don't want another another Daniel Jacobs. I mean, look, Jacobs is... is, is I would not consider him elite. Oh, hey, there's my, uh, my go-to channel, guys, Revenge of the Sis podcast. You guys go check them out. One of my favorite podcasts on the planet. Anyway, you know, look... We don't need that, okay? Let me let me move on, guys. I'm babbling. Okay, everybody, including Team Canelo, is waiting to find out if the zone is going to live up to its obligations. I am aware. I am aware of no other sticking points. Okay, or whatever. Okay, Golden Boy. <laughs> Golden Boy has been uh, about making the best fights for the. F- whoa, 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 whoa. Back, back it up. Back it up. Golden Boy has been about making the best fight. Okay, yeah, I read that I read that correct. Okay, just just want to make sure I got that correct. Okay, this is particularly true, particularly true for Canelo, the number one attraction uh, and best pound for pound fighter in the sport. Okay. 
Uh, Goldberg Project CEO Oscar Ariel De La Hoya said, Together with Canelo and his team, we have come up with a list of great... No shit you've come up with a list. Look, they're throwing out Darby and Checo, or Darby and Checo's uh, Gennady Golovkin trilogy. You know, we got a little William Monroe Jr. in there, a Kovalev 2 in there. I mean, they're, they're talking about everybody. Of course they have a list, okay? Uh, for a premium fight on the Mexican Independence Day, we are still waiting on the zone to approve one of those great fights. Now, see, the zone does have a little bit of pull. The zone can say, like they told Gennady Golovkin, we don't want Zermeta on our platform, but Triple G is like, then you don't get no G. You don't know Zermeta, no Triple G. You know, you, you decide, right? Canelo and Golden Boy intended to put uh, on a fight in September and expected the zone will honor their obligation. Um, and, and give fight fans what they deserve an evening with the best fighter. In the, no, look, look, guys, see, this is pissing me off already. We're not there to see the Canelo show, okay? We're not there to say, oh, they want to give the fighter, let me read that again, uh, what they deserve an evening with the, like, an evening with Canelo. What is this, a meet and greet? This isn't a fucking meet and greet. This is a fight. We want to see the best fight the best, okay? This ain't no damn meet and greet. What the hell are they talking talking about what are they talking about guys come on look guys see this shit uh, stop cussing this crap pisses me the hell off okay we, we, it's not a meet and greet it's a fight right okay let me read that again canelo and golden boy intended to put on the put I, guys whatever i'm gonna read this crap canelo and golden boy intend to put on a fight in september and expect that the zone will honor their obligation and give fight fans what they deserve, an evening with Canelo. What, is this like Dancing with the Stars? Like, what are they talking about? No, we want to see the best fight the best. We don't, what do they mean an evening with Canelo? Lawyer, own holding up plans for next Alvarez fight. Now, let me tell you what's going on, guys. Let me tell you how, look, Canelo's crafty. Let me tell you what he's doing. We'll read the comments. What he's doing, he, he, he done lawyered up, right? Homeboy done lawyered up. Now he's putting it all on his lawyer because he doesn't want to look bad in the middle of a global pandemic when people can't even feed themselves right now. What is it? Uh, I don't know, 20, 30, 40, 50 million people out of work. You know, Canelo over here living in a 32 bedroom mansion, you know, riding around in a private jet and helicopter raking in millions doesn't want to look like an asshole that he is. Right. I get it. I get it because that's exactly what is going on. All of these spoiled, rich ass boxers, like, I'm only getting 20 million, bro. I need like at least 25. I mean, my contract says 20. You want to get. Come on, really? Hey, look, guys, this is why I don't make boxing videos that much anymore. I can't stand these little entitled pricks anymore, right? Uh, with all fairness, the zone needs to stick to the contract. This is what happens when you come out of nowhere and try to monopolize the box industry. Let this be a learning curve. Now, I don't disagree, Michael. Mike, Michael, Michael, Mike. <laughs> I like that name. Michael, Michael, Mike. If I was your friend, I would call you Michael, Michael, Mike, just so you know. But uh, I don't disagree, but we are living in, you know, just peculiar times okay these are very unusual times and you know so again canelo has made m m millions off boxing fans and what has he given us right i mean you guys know the lineup i don't even need to go over it okay it's all bullshit okay they know tyson versus jones stole their date <laughs> <laughs> LOL. I'm Mexican and it's pathetic. Canelo or a Mexican ain't fighting. Damn, damn. how do you really feel, Carlos? Shout out, Carlos. Uh, with COVID, it's real simple. Fighters need to fight for less. Thank you, Chris. Comment of the day, Chris, right there. If you don't have a live gate, you can't expect the same pay. It's not. There you go. I'm not going to read anymore. Right there. Mic drop. Boom. We're done. I mean, great comment, right? Look, if you don't have an audience, okay, if you're fighting in an empty ass arena, you can't be whining and crying about not getting all the money. Mic drop. Thank you. Have a good day.